Hello internet friends, um, so today we are doing sort of Robert Pattinson messy sort of hair. Um, it's going to be a very American crew day because I've got lots of bits from them. Um, just because I've sort of been experimenting and these are the best bits I can find that work together to get that sort of thing for my head. Um, firstly, just wash and condition my hair so as you know it's going to go fluffy. So I've had a few people ask me what sort of shampoo and conditioner I've been using. It's these ones, here they are. Um, these are both by Red Ken. They are mint fused cool finish for men. Um, <clears throat> a lot of shampoos and conditioners I've had in the past, I've just got like sort of um, high street brand ones, and I just stopped using them. I just sort of didn't wash my hair much. I found that after washing my hair, it'd be really lightweight and everything, but it'd feel really dry and horrible. Um, but with these ones, they don't. It feels really nice and sort of hydrated and everything. I love this. If like me, um, and in the shower, you sort of wash your hair with the shampoo in and out really quick and then you put your conditioner on and leave it while you do out of the showerly duties um, just to get that extra bit of sort of hydration in there. It feels really nice and cooling on your head. You can feel it work, you can feel it like sort of doing some good things to your scalp because you can feel it on there and it's nice and cool um, and I really like that. That's sort of, I'm not an expert on shampoo and conditioner I'll be honest but that's the best one I've come across so far. Um, if I find any other ones I'll let you know. Again I can't remember the prices as with all this other stuff, I can't remember anything because um, I always forget and I always tell you wrong. So, boop, I'll put it down there for you, okay? Um, anyway, <clears throat> so my hair's just been washed and conditioned, it's going to go fluffy. We're going to dry it a little bit first and then we're going to put our first product in, which is the American Crew Light Texture Hold. Now, basically, this doesn't have much hold, especially for my big bush, it won't really do much, but what it will do is give some texture. It's more of a sort of um, a prep product, so if your hair is going to be all horrible like this and it's going to be a nightmare to work with, put a bit of that in first, it'll, it'll sort of make your hair a bit more workable. I mean, if your hair doesn't need much hold, then you could use this on its own, but um, for me, I'm going to have to do something with that. Obviously, I'm doing going to do Robert Pattinson today. We have fairly similar hairstyles in that we've both got quite big hair and it both sort of is off the face, so like that. Um, but that is about it. A lot of people say, oh, I've got hair like him, but... To be honest, I really haven't. His hair is a lot nicer than mine. And the actual hair texture is completely different. Mine is big and bushy and his is sort of lightweight um, and easier to work with. He may go bald in the future because he hasn't got much hair. I won't because I've got loads. So I can take that consolation. He may have millions and millions of girls adoring him and millions and millions of pounds. But I've got loads of hair. So in your face, our pats. I think when you see his hairstyle, when he's actually put some effort in, um, it's one of the coolest styles out there, um, you know, that's why I've been experimenting because my hair doesn't do that sort of stuff very easily so I've got some bits here to do it with um, however a lot of the time you see him in like paparazzi shots and he looks like he just doesn't wash um, so it's not one of these ones, this is one of the ones where he sort of does something with it um, so let's, let's start so now my hair is dry enough to put in the first product the light texture hold what we're going to do, put a little bit of this in, not much Oh, it just, it just made a little noise on, on the camera. Did you hear that? It went um, So not much, and then put it in your hair. What we're going to do is just basically mess your hair up completely, get it right in there, loads of texture, and then we're going to dry it up. My, I say we, you're not doing this, I'm doing it, but I'm going to dry my hair a little bit more. And when I dry it, I'm going to sort of do that with it so I get some more sort of texture and oomph in there. Okay, so you may have seen as well that I was drying my hair upwards because it's going to be upwards. If I dry it downwards, um, it would then stay down. Obviously, it's a very American crewy day, as I mentioned. The reason for that is I've been experimenting and these products seem to work the best for me for this sort of style. Also, American Crew is my favourite brand as well. Um, just because, I don't know why, I just like it. I like the way that they make my hair feel, I like the way they condition my hair when I use them. I don't really know, I think it's because, obviously I'm using a lot of professional products at the minute and they all sort of do good things for your hair and everything, but I just find when I use American Crew my hair feels that like extra little bit nicer after I've washed it out and everything and it actually just sort of conditions your hair as you, as you wear it and it does good things for your scalp and I just think it's a very good brand. What I have here is the pomade, I have reviewed that one before, um, it's a long time ago now, but I'm going to use that and I'm going to use the forming cream. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use them together. Um, so, this is called cocktailing and it's a really good idea, especially if you have sort of problem hair. For me in particular, because my hair is, is sort of a nightmare because it's quite dry a lot of the time and it's um, just big, I need something that's going to give it a bit of shine, uh, but often things that give it shine don't have enough hold, 
So I then cocktail it with something that's going to give us some hole too, which is exactly what I'm doing here. Because um, Robert Pattinson's hair is so sort of shiny and healthy and stuff, even to the point sometimes where it looks a bit greasy when he doesn't wash. So we need the pomade for that because it's really shiny and gives really nice sort of subtle control. His is all sort of separated and there's bits all over the place, whereas mine will go up but it'll go in a big clump. So this is quite nice to keep it, give it sort of that shine and nice and separated. The next product is the forming cream. Now, this has got some holes, but it's also really pliable. So if you need, you know, if you want to have a hole that you can sort of touch all day, like Robert Pattinson does, and like I do a lot anyway, then this is perfect. So they're both on my hand like that, and you mix them both together, and then you get some sort of awesome hybrid hair product like that, and then you just go for it. So. Obviously his hair is all over the shop, so that's sort of what we're doing. Just get it in there, to start with. Right, so it's in my hair, and now we're going to start styling it. Now, something I've noticed Rob, Rob Pattinson does, is that he always has his hair sort of pulled back at the sides and the back. So, that's what we're doing here. This is something that I do anyway, with my hair, but um, if you don't and you want hair like Robert Pattinson, then do it. But as well as having them back, he sort of has a bit of sort of mess in there too, so just sort of get your fingers in and screw it up, you know. The rest really is pretty much do what you want. Um, you know, he has it sort of all over the shop. I mean my hair is not actually as long as his, so it won't do exactly the same thing, but he sort of just has bits all over the, sh all over the place. The fringe is, again, everywhere. So there's bit, you know, if you want to find bits and pull them, you know, then do that. Because his hair is all over the shop, and it's actually probably one of the most on-trend looks at the minute. Just sort of messy stuff, you know. Get your hair, get in there and just sort of get your fingers in and, you know, mess it up. Okay, so there you go. Um, just sort of bear in mind that obviously my hair is a lot thicker than his and not quite as long. So it's not really going to be exactly the same as his, it's just sort of my interpretation. Um, if you've got hair that is not as thick as mine and it's maybe a little bit thinner, then you'll probably have more luck than me. I think he's quite lucky in that his hair looks quite easy to style because it looks like the consistency of a baby's hair, whereas mine's really coarse and horrible. So, yeah. Lucky bastard, isn't he? He's got everything. The way we style our hair is quite similar, although his is a lot nicer texture. But one thing I notice is that when I do my own hair, I'll tend to sort of get the whole, all the front out of the way, um, and it'll sort of be where the fringe... So basically where the fringe and the sides start is about here for me. For him, it's a little bit more of a... In sort of more towards the middle here. That's just something I notice. So rather than... So there's a little, little parting there, and that bit's gone to that side. Um, usually it'd be all over that side. Um, I quite like it though, because I always wonder what to do with that bit sometimes. It just sort of spikes up, because it doesn't really know whether it's going to one side or the other, so it then just goes vertical. As usual, as it's professional products, you can't get them from um, high street stores. You need to go to a salon or a website. Thank you all so much for watching. Really appreciate all the views I get. If you feel like subscribing to me and you're not already, please click the button, and um, you'll basically get updated when I put a video on. It will come up in your subscription box, and then you can watch me whenever I put one on. Bye!